Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to W Knowledge Channel. I am Dr. Regina Plinas, Associate Professor and HOD of Electrical Engineering Department at Sanjay Godavat University, Kolapur. Under this uh, W Knowledge Channel, in this Power Electronics uh, Simulation Series, the last lectures we have learned that how to do the simulation of buck converter and how to do the simulation of boost converter. We already know that buck converter is nothing but class A chopper and uh, boost converter is nothing but class B chopper. We will call other cases other way also step up chopper and step, step down chopper and step up chopper respectively. So in this lecture we are going to learn about a buck boost converter simulation. How one can do this buck, buck boost converter simulation. Uh, for, before going to this uh, lecture uh, video, I, those who have not subscribed this channel, kindly subscribe it. Uh, if you are watching it in this Facebook, uh, just to show your interest, whether like or dislike, whatever may be, and comment on it for the better development. If you are used, if you are watching it in this uh, YouTube channel, you can just subscribe it and you can comment on it for the better development. Uh, so let me share one back. Uh, I will first I will just recall what is buck boost converter then immediately we can switching over to this uh, battery uh, buck boost converter simulation. Let me share my presentation screen. So buck boost uh, converter in the sense we have uh, we have this input supply and it is we have one switch then this is another one switch then we have one diode then we have another one diode then we can connect like this this is our supply voltage right supply voltage then this is we can call chopper one and uh, chopper two we have this is having that interconnection is there it is already connected then uh, uh, then we have uh, RLE load maybe resistance inductance and uh, uh, this back EMF resist load resistance inductance and back EMF so otherwise we can call it as motor load motor load so now we can call uh, this is diode D1 and diode D2. So we know this is type uh, C chopper, type C chopper, or otherwise we can call it as buck boost, buck boost converter. Otherwise, we'll call it as buck boost converter. So we will measure this output voltage across this load. You just you can recall our previous uh, some books also so that you can easily understand and uh, recall everything. In this buck boost converter, we have uh, uh, we have this. This is the voltage positive here. Current is positive. Then this is voltage is so current is negative, um, current is negative and voltage is negative. So this is the axis. So this in this case here voltage is positive as well as negative. So current is also positive. Therefore we can say power is positive, always positive. So this is called as first quadrant. Then in the second quadrant in the sense. So this, in this place, it will act as a step uh, down chopper. So let me explain first step down chopper. When this chopper one is on, so the current will flows from uh, this. Uh, let me take one more copy of this diagram so that it will be very helpful for me to explain this step, step up operation. In this case, we can have, if the, suppose the current switch is chopper one is on, current will flows like this and flows to the load and return back. 
right return back in this case this is positive and negative automatically this will be positive and this will be negative in this case output voltage already positive right then current is flowing like this right so current is flowing like this therefore current direction is also positive correct then when the switch is off when the chopper is off uh, chopper one is off that time this is for uh, this color is for chopper uh, one is on then let me take another one color chopper one is off that time stored energy in the inductor here it will be positive and uh, it will be negative mm, uh, and this this uh, this will be positive and this will be negative then stored energy in the inductor will release through this how it will be released during this time this polarity will be reverse we already know just the basics i don't like to explain more much just you can refer the books this will be negative and this will be positive so this negative and this diode will be forward bias therefore the stored energy in the inductor which will for it will flow through like this free will through this therefore output voltage will be zero at the same time load current will be continuous but based on the my inductance value whether the discontinuous conductions or continuous conduction may occur this is the for uh, so automatically all the time output voltage and the current is positive whenever the free wheeling is there there is no output voltage but for do, during this discontinuity this back emf will appear across this load you know already then let me explain for uh, step up uh, step up that means second quadrant operation in this second quadrant operation this motor will act as a generator right so my motor will act as a generator then what happened this is the energy source this is the output voltage whenever this chopper 2 is on chopper 2 is on let me take this color whenever this chopper 2 is on current will flows through like this and it will uh, goes right so this is like a uh, free wheeling through the uh, the energy stored will be inductor sorry so energy will be stored in the inductor when during this time energy will be stored in the inductor therefore uh, the, in this case we have output voltage is positive negative at the same time current direction is reverse so that is why this quadrant is uh, in this quadrant second quadrant we can have this is the case voltage is positive at the same time current is negative right then when the chopper is off let me take the same color when the chopper 2 is off so what will happen this stored energy in the inductor this side when it is storing energy positive negative when it will start to release the energy this will be positive and this will be negative therefore this positive polarity will appear across uh, this diode therefore current voltage will be feed back to this load this is our in this case energy source is uh, energy source is this generator says in generator which will act as a generator so stored energy in the voltage across the inductor will be vl into so vl is equal to uh, vl is equal to l into di divided by dt this voltage plus this vacuum of voltage total voltage will appear across uh, this load Vol total voltage will appear across this load so this what uh, so that is why we will call it as uh, boost uh, boost converter uh, boost a boost converter uh, so in this case previously we will call it as buck converter so in this uh, our case our voltage uh, we can write it as voltage v not in the buck converter v not is equal to uh, the del in the ds supply voltage then in this boost converter v not is equal to vs divided by 1 minus del so we already know everything in this then finally 
Bakbus converter. Our case is type with both the cases, both the operations, step up and step down chopper operation, it will be combined in do. Therefore, V naught is equal to del divided by 1 minus del in the Vs. So both the cases we have to be considered here. Let me take now, uh, let me ta uh, take, uh, take you to this my simulation uh, file. This is the simulation of buck converter. What I have done for understanding charging and discharging, I have chosen one battery. This battery design and uh, how I have chosen this rated capacity, everything, it is available already in the play playlist of electric vehicle. Under that, you can see that uh, how to design the battery and how to design this uh, voltage, everything, power rating. So you can go through it. Accordingly, I have selected nominal voltage is 72 volt and uh, rated capacity is 270. Initial state of charge, I have chosen as 80 percentage. Then, uh, then in this case, these are all the two choppers I have used, MOSFETs I have used. Then I will tell you how I have connected this duty cycle and all. This is the two diode and uh, connected to the one inductor also. Additionally, I have connected to inductor to understand the energy storing. It is not necessary sometimes, here already one inductor is there, RLE load. This is the separately excited motor. In the separately excited motor, I have chosen 5 HP, 240 volt and 1750 RPM. Field is 300 volt. Accordingly, the field supply, field supply I have given separately 300 volt. 300 volts separately. Then a motor measurement speed, um, armature current and field current, electromagnetic torque, I will connect it through the scope. I would like to make one condition when it will act as a generator, when it will act as a motor. For that, if I run the simulation here for 20 milliseconds, I will run this, I will give the positive torque, it is a rated torque is 20 Newton meter. So, uh, till 10 seconds, initial value is 20. So, it will act as a motor. Then, uh, 10 seconds to sorry, uh, 20 seconds, it will act as a generator. So, that I have given initial value till 10 seconds 20 and the final value minus 20. That means till 10 seconds, it will act as a motor. Then, after 10 seconds, till 20 seconds, it will act as a generator minus 20. Then, uh, in this case, I have chosen this, I have uh, chosen one small MATLAB function, load torque I have taken as the input and output I have given to the duty cycle. For example, whenever the load torque is positive, uh, chopper 1 has to on, that means it is act as a motor mode. Whenever the load torque is negative, chopper 2 has to on, it is, means it will act as a generator, we know already in the simulation. So in this case, if the load torque is greater than zero, dBU means output is dBU and dB naught. dBU means duty cycle of buck converter. dBO in the sense duty cycle of boost converter. So dBU during on time, uh, whenever during motoring mode, I have given the duty cycle 0.5 and uh, boost converter duty cycle, I have not given anything, none, there is no values. And uh, else, otherwise, Duty cycle of buck converter I have given zero. That means output voltage of the buck converter will be zero. At the same time, duty cycle of uh, uh, boost converter will be 0.5. So only the duty cycle I have chosen newtons for 0.5. So let me run this simulation for 20 seconds. I hope you understood. So then this duty cycle I have connected to this uh, buck converter uh, duty cycle, this chopper and boost duty cycle, this chopper. I am already we know I have chosen this uh, switching frequency. If you go to our previous uh, videos also, you, have, you will come to know I have chosen 5 kilohertz the switching frequency. Therefore, 0, 1 by 5000. Then output value whenever 0 is 0 and uh, switching frequency 1 by 5000 that time output value will be 1. Similarly, this case also, both the cases switching frequencies are same. Whenever it is greater than this particular value, triangular value, so this switch will be on. Similarly, here also it will be on. So let me uh, run this simulation for uh, 10 to 20 seconds. <coughs> uh, 
So in this case, inductance value I have given uh, 5 uh, milli Henry. Inductance value I have given 5 milli Henry. I hope all the details uh, in this case I have given. And uh, this torque and uh, why this I have choosing this duty cycle and diode, uh, uh, this uh, battery and motor. Let the simulation to run. So uh, let allow the simulation to run so that you can come to know how this output voltage waveform will. system it will, it will take some time uh, so we if you see here uh, I can, so 10 seconds till 10 seconds it will act as a motor then till uh, 20 seconds then from 10 seconds to 20 seconds it will act as a Generate that is a concept. So let me explain this. See here, uh, till this eighty percentage is charged. So now this uh, diode, sorry, this battery will start to discharge since it will release the energy. That is why state of charge gradually reducing till 10 seconds. Then this is act as a motoring mode. So this is so buck converter. So this will be uh, like this. Similarly, if you see here current also positive, current also positive side, current also positive side till this uh, uh, till battery current it is drawing. A battery is supplying the power till 10 seconds. Similarly, voltage will be also uh, voltage is more or less every time uh, it will be around 77 volt, 77.8 volt till this maximum of 77.0. Then let me explain this for boost converter. So here, if you see another case, uh, another case, I have um, this. There is a negative and uh, uh, this current, if you see here, the current there is on and there is to be connect to capacitor and uh, such an inductor uh, value. So accordingly, this current will be discontinuous, continuous will happen. But uh, I have not connected any capacitor. I hope you understood from till 10 seconds, uh, battery charge is reducing and uh, that uh, the current is increasing so it is around approximately if you make it some magnitude if you check this magnitude it will be around 20 uh, 20 uh, 15 yeah average value is will be around 18 um, 18 uh, amps then voltage is also with here i am not connecting any capacitor that is why there is a fluctuation in this if you connect on capacitor you will get smooth capacitor. if you want to do further analysis you can do that then this is our boost, boost converter in the sense motor will act as a generator. See here, this low torque, if you see, first let me explain before uh, explaining this uh, generating mode. See here speed, initially speed of the motor, not speed, this is different. Uh, then in this case, we can have this, uh, let me explain. This is the armature current. This armature current will be start from zero, positive current. Then armature current going to minus 20. Armature current going to minus 20. Then uh, another case uh, due to this, if the load torque is more, that is why speed, speed is here increasing. Here I am using the duty cycle is 0.5 only with the full load. Therefore, the speed will be very less here. Then here the field current there is not much change one amps uh, one one value then electromagnetic torque during the uh, positive time when the duty cycle is uh, chopper operation step down chopper see this uh, electromagnetic torque will be positive then it will goes to negative 
it will goes to negative therefore power is feeding power is feeding to the supply power feed back to the supply so this is for right motor side then uh, in this uh, battery side i already explained this uh, motoring mode then generating mode that time power is feeding to the battery therefore state of charge will start to increase similarly if you see this soon this current waveform this this is one small spike only all the time current is here negative see current direction is negative so second quadrant then uh, we have the voltage is little bit step up when compared with the previous voltage based on the inductance value there is a step up in this voltage since power is feeding to this grid so if we connect the capacitor we will get the exact value how the value changes you can easily understand so in this with this we can conclude that during this in this type c chopper during this step up operation or whenever the chopper one is on battery will discharge and whenever chopper one two is on chopper two is on battery will uh, charge that means uh, stop step down chopper and step up combinedly we are doing that is why we will call it as buck boost converter so one if we want to do further analysis one can do with this i would like to conclude uh, today's uh, presentation of the simulation of buck boost converter or type c chopper i hope this portion is uh, interesting and someone can vary the duty cycle accordingly you can increase this um, if the duty cycle increases motor speed will also increase further in this previous cases we have shown some negative value since duty cycle is 0.5 and load is full that is why it is showing some speed is negative usually if we increase the duty cycle to 1 it surely the speed will increase the positive value then uh, usually when we load it we will not apply the load and we will not switch on once we start, then only we will apply the load. So this is a difference between the practical and the simulation study. Uh, I hope this is interesting and understandable. Those who like this channel, kindly subscribe it and like it and share to your friends also through the Facebook. Someone can make it use of it. If you have any doubts, kindly, uh, kindly come to that uh, WhatsApp a link it is available in this youtube channel in this about the channel details it is available wish you all the best thank you